I'm Richard Roper, and coming up next, the Greeks and the Persians are getting together again, and there will be blood, lots and lots of blood. It's my review of 300, Rise of an Empire, next. The ecstasy of steel and flesh. Sweat of muscle and rage. If you love the gloriously and gratuitously blood-spattered visual style of Zack Snyder's epic 300, you'll probably enjoy the hell out of 300 Rise of an Empire. This time around we get even more shirtless warriors who keep on declaring their love for one another while not even pretending they'd rather be at home with the women and the kids. We also get even better use of the 3D technology that sends rivers of crimson blood and various amputated limbs and severed heads careening our way. You offered freedom without consequence or responsibility. Are you accepting my offer? My answer is still no. Eva Green's Artemisia is a killer in more ways than one. With eyeshadow to rival any 21st century goth princess, a sexual appetite to shame anyone on Game of Thrones, and a backstory that would make Bruce Wayne slash Batman bow his head and say, you got me. She's a Greek-born warrior who was abused in unspeakable ways by her countrymen and then rescued by the Persians who taught her how to become a killing machine. The Persian king, Darius, annoyed by the notion of Greek freedom, has come to Greece to bring us to heal. Lena Headey's Queen Gorgo serves as the narrator for a story that starts off sounding beyond complicated but actually becomes pretty clear as the exposition gives way to a number of gruesome battles, many of them waged at sea. Sullivan Stapleton plays the noble general Themistocles. He tries to unite all of Greece's city-states to defend the land against the Persians. Stapleton's pretty good here, though he does lack Gerard Butler's animalistic screen presence. I will attack the Greeks with my entire navy. She's going to bring all of her with her. Zack Snyder remains as the writer-producer of Rise of an Empire, but he turns over the directing reins to Noah Murrow, who delivers the same distinctive visual palette of the original. Even with all the uniformly good performances and the really standout work from Eva Green, 300 Rise of an Empire is foremost a triumph of production design, costumes, brilliantly choreographed battle sequences, and stunning CGI. Best of all, the actors and the filmmakers seem to know we're supposed to be having fun with all of this. For the characters, the stakes couldn't be higher. For the audience, this is just hard R, popcorn fare. I give 300 Rise of an Empire an A-. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and at reels.com.